And we're so pleased now to be joined by one of the radio voices of the New York Yankees, and that is Susan Waldman. And Susan, uh, thank you so much for joining us, and, and we're sorry it's under these circumstances. Uh, the, the passing of Hank Steinbrenner, you know, describe him to people who may have never met him, if you can. Well, you know what, Maggie, and thanks for having me on, and it's gotten to the point here, I'm, every time the phone rings or I get a, a, an instant message, I'm terrified to look to see who else is sick or who else has passed away, but, you know, we can talk about Hank Steinbrenner and his, he was his father's son, and, but he is going to have an amazing legacy, and it has nothing to do with uh, what everybody thinks it, it thinks it is, and I know he was bombastic like his dad, and, you know, he's shot from the hip, but his legacy is going to be the thing that his dad wanted him to start 11 or 12 years ago, and it's called Hank's Yanks. And what he did was get kids together from the Bronx and from Brooklyn and from East New York, and he started a baseball team. And through these years, um, there are 50 kids that are playing professional ball, two in the major leagues, um, uh, one with the Pirates now and Joe Palumbo, who was, uh, who was in the Rangers organization. But this particular group has sent 100 kids to college. And wow. uh, Matt Duran, who was one of these kids, is in the analytics department um, with the Yankees now. He went to Columbia. This is all because of Hank Steinbrenner. And because when when they kind of, not pushed him out, but no, and, you know, Hal wanted a different kind of voice fronting the team, um, and not someone who was like his father. So um, George, when he got really sick, I guess it's 11 years ago, um, it was something that George wanted to do. He wanted to uh, put this together for for kids and what people don't know about the Steinbrenners is what George and then Hank following in his footsteps did for people particularly um, people under advantaged disadvantaged kids and and they really didn't want people to know so people don't know this side of George and and now Hank Steinbrenner but Hank's Yanks he was so proud of them and George was too sick to actually put it together and he said um, you know to a mutual friend of our dear friend Ray Negrone who's been with the Yankees for years and if you don't know who Ray Negrone is he was the kid who in the 70s was a teenager uh, and lived in the Bronx and George caught him putting graffiti on one of the fences and picked him up and he said you can either go to jail or you can go work for me and Ray wow. became a bat boy at like the age of 12 and had to go get things for Reggie Jackson and you know, in the 70s and um, so Hank and and Ray stayed, and I just got off the phone with Ray, actually, and we were just talking about this, and and Hank's legacy is this. It's Hank's Yanks. It's all those kids. It's the hundred college kids um, that are there and have a chance because of Hank Steinbrenner.